What's so special about renal pathology? Well, first, it's a gestalt phenomenon. It's holistic. You need to put everything together. One lark doesn't make a spring, and there is not any one thing I can see in an individual patient by light, EM, or IF that tells me that patient has a specific renal pattern or disease. That's why the biopsy is done, is to add that with the clinical findings and the laboratory. So I don't know of any subspecialty in pathology or anatomic pathology that has such a close association with clinicians. It truly is a team approach. Now, what else is special about renal pathology? Well, we use a whole variety of techniques from electron microscopy and immunofluorescence to the newer molecular studies. So it's really exciting. There are study groups of all kinds of new and wonderful drugs coming down the pike. And obviously, without proper diagnosis, you can't give proper therapy. The diagnosis leads to the therapy. So that's one of the things that's really important and interesting about renal pathology. The second is, are the diseases or the disorders or the patterns that we're seeing. They are complex, no pun intended, I mean complex often. They're very interesting and you can go in depth. It's not unusual now to have two, three, four diagnoses within one renal biopsy, even within the glomerular areas. So, new therapies, new diseases, as Hewson and others have said. <music>